Okay, so we've signed up to Twitter, we've changed our picture, which appears up here, and if everybody, somebody looks at your profile, they will see this, which doesn't look too exciting at the moment. We've only got a couple of uh, tweets in there, and not much going on up over here. So, go back to home. Home is where you type in your tweet. And Twitter actually gives us some ideas of what to do next. Find some friends and turn on your mobile phone to update your friends on the go. Now if you click on this one with mobile phone, if you have a mobile phone, this one can be very useful. And the downside is that now there are a number of countries that unfortunately cannot receive free notifications from Twitter. Some do, some don't. The UK unfortunately is one of those that doesn't doesn't mean you can't register your phone with them because you can send a tweet in to your account so for example if tomorrow I'm out and about and all I've got with me is my mobile phone haven't got an iPhone or anything that connects me to the internet and I just want to update what I'm doing then you can do that once you've registered your mobile phone to tweet now if certain countries you can also set it so you can receive any tweets back so you can choose which people once you've followed somebody you can decide whether you want to be notified or not every time they tweet whether you just want to be notified if they direct their tweet at you and so on so that's where you'd put that in I'm not going to do that because my mobile phone is registered for my other Twitter account let's go back to home so the next thing we want to do is to find some friends. So if, let's go to find people. And again, you can still do this by going to one of your accounts and getting it to uh, check your different accounts contacts. You can invite somebody by mail. So if you click on that one, you can enter some email addresses and invite people to join Twitter and to follow you you can go to suggested users, people they think you might be interested in they've given me a different choice this time you can follow all sorts of people, New York Times different people they think you might be interested in Pete Cashmore from Mashable The Real Shack Al Gore. You see there's an awful lot of unusual and interesting people on here. Lance Armstrong's on here. Dave J. Matthews is on here. Sarah, Sarah Bareilles. Tony Robbins is on here. Actually I do follow Tony. Let's, let's follow Tony because he's always got something interesting to say. I don't want to follow Ashton Kutcher. Not really interested in following Coldplay or John McCain. No, nope, I'll do that will do for me now. So I'm going to click follow. that has added Tony Robbins to there. I told you look he's full of really useful stuff. He doesn't twit uh, very often but when he does it's usually something useful. So now that shows that I am following one person. If you click on that you can see who you're following. You can choose to remove them if you want and this will show the people you're following in the order that you followed them. So if you follow somebody and then you think Oh, I, I just, you know, I follow somebody, I can't remember uh, who it was I followed, or why, <laughs> which is possible. You can go and just double check what it was about them that you liked. Um, this one is people you're following, and we're not, I'm sorry, this is people who are following you. And again, at the moment, nobody's following us. Uh, you probably will, you don't have any followers just yet. You probably will soon, though. That's a bit patronising. Um, but uh, again, that will show in the order of people that have followed. In order they followed you. So let's go and find another way of finding people. Is to go find on Twitter. And you type in a username or their full name. Let's see if we can find SWBN. Sometimes it's a little quirky, this search. But let's see if we can... Yep, yeah, there's SWBN. Now, if we double want to double check you know what SWBN are doing you click on that and you say oh yes they look really interesting look they've got exactly 500 followers 
and you say yep I want to follow them so we click follow you're now following the SWBN now if I had my mobile phone connected to it I could also add notifications on that if I was in a country that allowed it so we're going to go back to the home page again so now I'm following two people and if you're coming on to Twitter and you're thinking well I don't know who to follow you know maybe somebody's got you onto Twitter and you've got one or two people you want to follow well you could go to find people and see if any of the people you're interested in online are on there so let's go to find people let's say for example you're a big fan of Stephen Fry now I know he's on here because I follow him but um, you do a search Stephen Fry is actually a very good person to follow. He's a lot of fun to follow. He's always got something interesting going on. So, yeah, we'll follow him. So I've clicked follow. As, as you can see, there will always be people who pretend to be uh, somebody they're not or they are a fan of. So these two people are obviously fans of Stephen Fry. They're not the real Stephen Fry. This guy looks like he's a real Stephen Fry, but unfortunately has the same name as not the actor uh, Stephen Fry. So... But who else? Say you've got a hobby, for example. Say you're really into crochet. If you click put crochet in and do a little search, this is one way of starting off. You can actually see that some people, if they are really into their hobby or they've maybe got a business that's related to the hobby, they'll put that in as well. So you could type that in uh, and, and find somebody. I'm not going to do that because then they'll think, why is this woman following me we have nothing in common so in my case my profile says I'm really into internet marketing so let's say I'm looking for an internet marketer that person has got the name internet marketer now I'm not going to follow him but there are easier ways of finding people with similar interests to you which is why what you tweet makes a difference because if other people are looking for somebody with similar hobbies uh, that want to connect with online then they may do a search for you. We'll get onto that in a little while but that that's the basics of finding people to follow and having followers so as, as you follow people every time they send a tweet it will now appear in your stream there in your uh, Twitter stream so you'll see what they're saying